the University of California, San Francisco has deep roots in the Bay Area. Building upon a storied history at Parnassus Heights, a new state-of-the-art hospital is on the horizon. The new hospital will be a healing habitat designed to meet whole patient needs. The plan reimagines the space around the UCSF Helen Diller Medical Center at Parnassus Heights and connects the campus from park to peak to expand care and serve the community for generations to come. A hospital project of this scale and impact takes years to accomplish. Through community input, design changes were made to ensure the new hospital meets all needs of both its neighbors and the people it will serve. In fall of 2021, UCSF convened immersive design events. These design charrettes brought healthcare workers, designers, planners, and architects together to collaborate, to consider different perspectives and experiences and design spaces and operations that are human-centered and ready to advance care well into the future. It's exciting. First of all, it is day one. So this is an opportunity now for us to actually bring, literally bring the users to the project and to make that connection, that engagement. So just from that alone, just getting them in here, to have that conversation, to, to bring them into May introduction, extremely positive. We're starting to not talk about this being a hospital building, but really to be a healing environment. So when you start with that umbrella, what makes this very unique now is, how do we engage all of these people to understand that aspiration? Because it's different than their day-to-day -day job, as they see their day-to-day -day job. This project is unique in the fact that everything until today has been done virtually. I think that we lose some innovation when we're not together and just us working together as our own staff yesterday, just the excitement that was there to be back, to see each other again and to have that kind of fun and do some hard work, it felt really good. Seeing everyone interact together and move from literally a blank slate to putting in all the rooms and having really engaged conversations around where things should be and why and what some of the advantages and disadvantages of different room placements are and having that be occurring with many different roles but all in a very equal and collaborative way. It's very exciting to be part of such a project that represents so much hope for our future. We like to talk uh, about UCSF as being quietly amazing, and this building is going to be absolutely amazing uh, in terms of its, of its design, but, but really in terms of its function, and that is to heal patients, provide care, and make it a spectacular place for people to work. You know, when you think about uh, how to incorporate lean principles into work like this, trying to, to think about how individuals might move through the space that you're trying to design is, is sort of at the core of that. So using push pins and yarn to actually map out the pathways where patients may travel, where a nurse or a respiratory uh, care practitioner may go throughout their, their routine work in caring for patients, but also thinking about it from the perspective of patients and families. So thinking about, you know, when a family member comes off the elevator, where do they land? What are they seeing right away? And how they find their way to their loved one and sort of looking at it through all of those different lenses to make sure uh, that we bring all those perspectives into our thinking. We want them to think, okay, today is today. And we know that this new hospital is not going to be built for 10 years and for us to move in. So what could things look like in 10 years versus now? Right? We learned a lot through this last pandemic with COVID-19 and how we needed to operate differently and how we needed to cohort things differently. So if that pandemic could happen again in 100 years and we're building a hospital now, what is the hospital going to look like for the future to help us then survive in the future for the next pandemic? What we're learning about each other's worlds is that, you know, what matters to the physician group is different than what matters to the nursing group is different than what matters to some of the core clinical services in terms of where things sit on the unit. We're also having the opportunity to say, hey, wouldn't it be nice in the future if we co-located all these things that aren't co-located right now? So it's, it's been a, a really great dialogue. My mantra 
always is to move from our patients and our family's perspective. I say it over and over again. The next person, of course, is our caregivers who are taking care of those patients. So my goal and my aspiration is to create this amazing space for our patients and our families and our caregivers. The landscape and the natural beauty of Mount Sutro are highlighted in, in such a unique way. So it, it and will create tranquility, calming, and, and healing. It's, I think, been a privilege of my career to, to be involved with this team and to work with the people that are the best in, in the field. You know, we're very lucky that we really have a great team of people here uh, who really want to, to be, not just be different, but to make a difference. We're actually creating something here related to, uh, to perfect health, and I think that's fantastic.